What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Cam ATL, man, and I am back with some heat. Take a second, like the video down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Now, in last, in yesterday's, last night's, whatever you want to call it, DFS Squad Tournament, we had a winner by the name of K-Dub850 with a score of 327. That was a good-ass score, my man. Congrats to you for winning the DFS Squad Tourney. Comment down below if that's you, because I really don't know who who you would be. Um, so shout out to you. Malcius, you are consistently up there. Good job for you. Johnny Griffin, my boy up there too. Shout out to all you guys, man. The DFS squad tourney has been fun, man. I'm loving it. Let's keep it going. I scored a 292 last night, and that's with Giannis busting. If Giannis would have got his 60, I would have been in the 320 range. That is some major bullshit. But you know what? I'll take it. I doubled up in everything. I cashed out. I did my motherfucking thing. Now, tonight we have things that we got to focus on. Hold on. Give me one second. Now, in tonight's slate, something we need to focus on is the weather issues. With the game in New York and the game in Brooklyn, obviously, both of those games, there is a weather advisory going on with the snow. There's supposed to be a blizzard or some shit. So keep an eye on that. Now, I'm going to set this high five of, as if weather's not going to affect anything. All right? I will give you guys some alternatives just in case weather does end up affecting things. But my high five does include a few people from the New York Brooklyn, I mean the New York Indiana game because I loved stacking that game. I, I love stacking that game today. So I don't know, man. But I'm going to go ahead and just give the high five in the bargain bin just like weather's not a concern. But just in case weather does become a concern, I'll mention some other options as well. At the point guard position, we have Russell Westbrook against Brooklyn. That is a beautiful matchup for Mr. Russell Westbrook. He's 13400 That is pretty pricey, especially when you got Damian Lillard right here at New Orleans. This game should be close, should be high scoring. I also love stacking this game. This is going to be another good game to get involved in. Okay, with the weather situation in the OKC Brooklyn game, I'm going to go ahead and just put Damian Lillard here in the high five. Uh, he's got to be in the high five. The way he's been playing lately and against New Orleans, bottom in the league against guards, Damian Lillard, as well as, as, well as Drew Holiday, have got to both be in the high five Today, Drew Holiday is at home in New Orleans going against the team that is worst in the league against guards. I love Drew Holiday and Damian Lillard here. I have to stack both those guys. I have to get both those guys in this game. It is a necessity. At the small forward position, guys, like I said, be weary of this weather in New York. But Paul George is one of my favorite plays of the day. Matched up with Carmelo Anthony. I love it. Paul George is just too much for Carmelo. Carmelo's not a defensive player, has never played defense a day in his life, okay? Paul George should have a very good game here matched up with uh, Carmelo Anthony. And with Paul George defending Carmelo Anthony, I expect there to be a good game for Kristoff Porzingis down low against Indiana. They give up a lot of rebounds. Kristoff, I can easily see Kristoff getting a double-double here. Getting some good rebounds, some good points. Kristoff has been on a roll lately. He has been playing amazing. Now he's going against a team that's bottom in the league at rebounding. I love Kristoff Porzingis. Absolutely love it. Speaking of that game. Speaking of that game, the Indiana-New York game. We got my boy Miles Turner. New York also is not good down low. Miles Turner should have a very good game here against New York down low, man. I love it. Just in case the weather happens to some weather issues happen, I can definitely see 
Um, going Tristan Thompson against Detroit should be okay, even though Andre Drummond's solid down low. Andre Drummond is a good selection. Here's the thing. I expect Cleveland to blow Detroit out, and I expect Golden State to fuck Philly up, especially with Robert Covington being ruled out today. Okay, Golden, Golden State is going to demolish Philly. I really love Matt Barnes. After that performance he put up the other day, I expect him to take that starting role back or at least get a lot more minutes now. So I love Matt Barnes as a good little cheap play today. I just wanted to throw that out there now. That game in Brooklyn, OKC, could be a problem. You could go Nurkic against New Orleans. They struggle rebounding down low. Nurkic isn't much of a rebounder, but he should do just fine, even though he's against those two big men. That's going to be a struggle. Draymond Green plays for Golden State, worried about a, a, a blowout there, so I don't know about that. You could easily go DeMarcus Cousins against Portland or Anthony Davis against Portland. Um, both those guys are good plays. I mean, it, it's it's tough, man. When you're trying to avoid this weather shit and you have no idea what's going to happen with the weather, it's tough to go ahead and set your lineup. But like I said, I'm going to set the high five as if, as if the weather's not going to happen. Here it is. Damian Lillard, Paul George, Christoph Porzingis, Miles Turner, and Drew Holiday is the high five for today. The reason I didn't go Russell Westbrook is solely off the fact that I want to balance my squad out very evenly today. Get a bunch of people that could easily get me 35 plus a person, but have upside of getting 45 plus. And that's exactly what I'm going for today. Um, so yeah, man. Good luck, guys. Pay attention to that weather today. I will be updating it on my Twitter, Cam underscore ATL. Make sure you follow me on Twitter to get updates on the weather and stuff like that. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. Like, like this video too, by the way. Uh, let's go ahead and get into some value plays real quick, guys. Some bargain bin, guys. Now, right down here near the 4,000 area, Isaiah Whitehead has been playing good minutes, man. It's been pissing me off because he's taking a lot of minutes from Jeremy Lin. They need to just let Lin do his thing. But Whitehead's only 3,300 against Brooklyn. He's been getting consistent good minutes. I can see him destroying value here at least six times. Actually, seven times. This should be a good situation there for Isaiah Whitehead. With a blowout situation in Golden State, I can see Sergio Rodriguez getting 25-plus minutes here. And he could end up having a great game here in a blowout situ situation. He could get a lot more minutes, guys. I love Sergio in the bargain bin. Keep an eye on that because in, in blowout situations, you want to ride somebody who rides the bench normally. They're going to sit McConnell, and they're going to play a lot of minutes to Sergio. Um, Isaiah Whitehead will get some good. He's been getting some great run. Dinwiddie's been getting good run. Dinwiddie got 28 minutes against New York the other day. He's been getting some good run. I love Amon Shumpert. He's got his starting rollback against Detroit. He'll probably deal with Contavious Caldwell-Pope, who's a very good defender, so that worries me a little bit. At 4,200, I absolutely love Ish Smith today, man. Because, like I said, I expect Cleveland to destroy Detroit in Cleveland. Okay? That'll leave more minutes for Ish Smith off of the bench for Detroit. In a blowout scenario, Ish Smith is going to play more minutes. And when Ish Smith has gotten his minutes, he puts up points. He has that 39-point potential, that 38-point potential, as you can see in his in his game log. I like Ish Smith a lot at 4,200, and he's got to be in the bargain bin, man. I have got to have him in the bargain bin. Now, let's go ahead and look at some big guys, some cheap options for big guys. Like I said already, and probably my favorite bargain bin of the day, with this Golden State game turning to be a blowout, I 100% expect Golden State to blow Philly out. And with that situation, I would love to have Matt Barnes. Matt Barnes should see good minutes here after the type of performance he put up the other day against San Antonio. Matt Barnes should uh, definitely earned more minutes. And I expect him to do very, very well at only 3,700, man. He's going to destroy value against Philly. He's my favorite bargain pin play of the day. I absolutely love the guy. Love the guy. Uh, Richard Jefferson's going to get more run with the uh, with the blowout in Cleveland. Um, there is a chance that Sabanis gets the start over Taj Gibson, depending on Taj Gibson's health. 
Let's go ahead and check on that while we're on the video right now. He was held out of Sunday's practice. So pay attention to that. Sabanis could be going back into the starting lineup here. All right. Now, let's go ahead and go to some centers real quick. Look at some cheap options. Of course, we got Zaza Pachulia, always a great cheap option at 3800 He should make his value in the limited time before the blowout even occurs. I love Zaza Pachulia, so don't shy away from Zaza. There is a shooting guard I want to mention to you guys, man. He's been flying under the radar. Take advantage of this guy. At 3900 Jordan Crawford. At home in New Orleans against Portland. Jordan Crawford has been very solid, and for only 3900 he is also one of my favorite bargain bin plays of the day. Him and Matt Barnes are my two favorite bargain bin plays of the day. I love Jordan Crawford as a money saver here, guys. It allows you to stack elsewhere. For the people who want to get Russell Westbrook, putting Jordan Crawford and Matt Barnes in your lineup is going to be a necessity. Cheap guys like that is going to be a necessity, and I'm totally cool with that, and I can totally understand that. All right, I love Jordan Crawford today, guys, so keep an eye on that. Um, Stauskas will get good run against Golden State with Golden State blowing them the fuck out. And that's it, guys. I really hope the best for everybody. Good luck, everybody. If you guys want to line up for me, it's $5 for the day, $20 for five days. Most people do the $20 for five days because you get a day for free pretty much. I am super hype about MLB coming up, man. I'm super hyped. This lineup lock bullshit is starting to annoy me with NBA. I'm ready to start fucking them up with MLB. The last, like, two weeks in a row with MLB, I was very profitable. So I am ready to get right back into that shit and destroy MLB like I, I did uh, last year, man. I am super excited to get right back into it, man. So, of course, videos and everything will be the same. Uh, we also have a DFS Squad Facebook page. That is officially up, so go follow, show some love on that, like that, and uh, that's it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Good luck today. Comment down below questions and concerns. Like this video for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'm out.